tonight from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Mitchell Trubisky and the Chicago Bears. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Rams. Six foot four, quarterback Jared Goff. There's a toughness about Jared Goff that maybe he doesn't get enough credit for. His freshman year at Cal, team went one and eleven. His rookie year with the Rams, he was zero and seven as a starter, undaunted in either case, and has come back each and every time to flash the ability that made him the number one overall pick in the draft when he came out of Cal. the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He was brought down by no gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Defense able to get there. Swarm to the football. Zilch, zero nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Golf. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. It's a gain of nine, but it's also going to mean a punt here on their opening drive. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. to put it away. DeAndre Carter back deep. Yeah. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bears take over. Mitchell Trubisky taking the field to lead Chicago. Trubisky, the Ohio native, went to North Carolina, then drafted by these Bears as the number two pick in 2017. And one of the few knocks on him coming out of North Carolina was just actual game experience, just 13 starts in college. But he worked so hard at making up for that lost time. He loves the game, crazy about the film room, and guys just naturally gravitate towards him. I think he's got a chance to be an excellent leader and player. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 22. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Loss of two. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Sack of Trubisky. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Webster now to return. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 44. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the Bears' 48-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. It's third down and but defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Out of the gun. Golf. 
Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 16. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second and a yard at the 40-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And this will be a Bears first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. We're scoreless after one. With no score. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Montgomery pushing forward for three up to the 48. David Montgomery. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Trubisky. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One of the selling points at the in route is against the quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver, and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success, as they did on that play. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's taken down inside the 30. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. 
Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Now Trubisky, middle of the field, it's Robinson. Trubisky. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 yards on the play, first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Trubisky will throw. And that'll be incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Trubisky. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Jarnell Mooney there to make the grab as his guys are on the board first here tonight. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a Cairo touchdown. Santos. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7 0 in favor of the Bears. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. On the return comes Webster. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. At their own 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He starts with a give to Akers. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The ball carrier. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A shotgun snap for Gone. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Two 
minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches, two-minute drill. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Goff now to throw. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. He had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Goff now looks to throw. He'll get this one to Cop complete. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Chicago offense set to get started. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Trubisky on first down. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a gain of eight. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Throwing here, Trubisky. His throw incomplete. Darnell Moody, the target there. And it's third and short. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Here now, third and two. Now it's Trubisky rolling to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Another try after the first down sack. Trubisky, he'll drop this one down to Cohen. Give him two yards on that play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, Runs after contact. We call that getting dirty yards. Tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here's Trubisky. And he completes it to Cohen. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Complete. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Gain of 11 on the play. First down, Chicago. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a fine first half from quarterback Mitchell Trubisky. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. At their own 26. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Trubisky to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. That's a nice throw there. And he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive. And here he comes out throwing again. And they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Trubisky to throw. 
That is incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 31-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Let's see who's faster. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 31. Now a run with Montgomery, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. At the Rams, 32-yard line. Second and 12, Trubisky escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Back to throw. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears' field goal. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Bears 10. Rams nothing. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return comes Webster. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 20. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. The results for them so far not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet, you're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 27. Out of the gun, he'll throw. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. 
ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll go again here with Akers. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. screen here to Akers and the play goes nowhere losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39 he was unable to shake free there and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home but uh, Charles you and I can hear it a lot of groans right now coming from this crowd I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. And that is incomplete here. Another incompletion with that one. He's just 7 of 14 throwing the football, 50%. Typically not going to get it done, is it? Well, let's just make it simple, and that's exactly why they trail. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun. Gone. so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. DeAndre Carter on the return. The Bears. And this offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. Mm -hmm. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. To Tariq Cohen. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 42-yard line. Wait. 
One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Will get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion. But he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, it will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Open man is Higby, the tight end. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Goff on first down. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play at them while you've got them rocked on their heels. Now Goff on first down. They'll throw complete to Cam Akers. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him in. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. 
To throw again on second down. Golf. A quick pass to Cup. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 27-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On first down, gone. Open man, Higby, the tight end. They'll contain him to just four, second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Golf. That is going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Goff not a throw. Looking for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 44 yards away. And Gay knocks this one through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Bears 10. Rams 3. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try to pin them back there. So the field goal got him back within one score, and now the focus lies on this onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are.
first down. It's Montgomery. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Suck the life right out of this crowd. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. Trubisky down to a knee, and that is all she wrote. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zero. Final score. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.